Welcome back to Desert Smoke Reviews. I'm Wyatt. Justin. And Monty. Today we're taking a look at uh, the Dominico by Carlos Torano. Now, of course, we really enjoy Carlos Torano cigars here. Uh, it's one of those few cigar brands where I've never had one that I that I hated. I've had a couple that I didn't really care for, but um, never had one that I that I absolutely wouldn't smoke again. I have never had this Dominico, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, contrary to its name, it has an Ecuadorian wrapper, so I hear. Uh, but uh, some part of the cigar, I'm sure, is made out of Dominican tobacco. But um, anyway, regardless, a uh, beautiful look at stick. Um, I am guessing this is an Ecuadorian Sumatra or something like that? Ecuadorian Connecticut. Connecticut. Oh, it's Connecticut. Okay. Well, I was going to say it looks like Connecticut because it is a Connecticut. But um, very, very firm pack all the way through for me. Um, very, very firm. Really no squishy spots. It's kind of surprising because I've got a few water spots kind of... Uh, dotting this, the rest of the cigar. Uh, seems are visible, but they're really smooth to the touch, so it seems like they're really well done. I've got a couple of big stems uh, throughout, but um, it's just built very well. It, it, you know, it's very, it looks like it's built very well. Um, and again, very, very firm. Uh, but uh, let's see, on the aromas, I don't really get anything on the wrapper. There's a little bit of uh, just kind of plain tobacco, but on the foot, there's, there's this really nice sugary caramel sweetness. It's almost like um, like when you walk into a Starbucks or something. But uh, not quite that heavy on the coffee smell. It just kind of smells like everything else that is Starbucks, if that makes any sense. But uh, really looking forward to lighting stuff. Well, I'm the exact opposite. My uh, arm, the pack, so my pack is very squishy um, all the way through. But uh, hopefully it'll be just fine. Uh, the wrapper is nice, uh, it seems to have been well. I've got one little stretch mark here, and there's been a, a couple little areas where the got a hole in it, but I think the binder should hold just fine. Uh, a couple of moderate veins, but overall it looks like a decent stick. A decent stick to get it. Um, I agree off the wrapper, I don't get a whole lot. Uh, maybe a, a little bit of mild tobacco, not, not a whole lot, but I, uh, off the foot, it is a different story. I definitely pick up a nice, like a, a caramel. I could agree, a caramel or vanilla sweetness. Uh, it's definitely got something going on down there. But uh, yeah, I look forward to getting it into it. Uh, and, and mine's more like Wyatt. Wyatt's uh, cigar. It's it's real firm, pretty much. You know, head to foot. On um, some minor veins. Uh, one thing I did notice on this particular cigar was the cap was a little shoddily put on. It looked like somebody got in a hurry when they put the gap on and it just didn't look too nice, but uh, it cut well, so it's fine. Uh, you know, no no lumps, uh, just like I said, firm all the way down. Uh, minor veins, a few stretches. The seams are done well, but there's a few stretches, but uh, they're pretty fine. Um, as far as uh, the aromas I get off, but just some light tobacco off the wrapper. Um, off the foot, you know, the guys mentioned about the sweetness. I get like um, a, a really strong, dark sweetness, dark tobacco, like if you know anything about chewing tobacco, like if you just pop open a pouch of Red Man chewing tobacco and stick your nose right in there and just, it, it's, it's, it's a real dense, almost moist, sweet darkness. And, uh, sorry? Thanks, Doc. It's an inside joke. Anyway. It wasn't that funny to begin with. Yeah, but why I it apologize. Tried. Any, anyway, just a real... Uh, dark sweetness tobacco to the foot. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Get cut up, little. Get cut up. <clears throat> okay, we'll dog. Two people I know of know what red man smells like. Um, Monty and the immortal? Yep. Sort of just in the Yeah, I know. Mike Garrett, Mike Garrett, Days Work, the Red Days Work. Never, never had that one. You chew too much of that, and your teeth just start leaking. It's about the strongest one there is. It's like a big brownie the way it's packaged. You just bite a plug off of it. Oh, it's strong. That is one of the It's very mild. <clears throat> Maybe a bit of woodiness. Mine's very mild, but it's more real, real profound nuttiness to it. 
might just be me because I might have char charred it a little bit. But uh, that first puff is very kind of unrefined. It's not harsh, but it's not smooth either. It's kind of in that gray area. I agree with that. I got almost like a little bit of a bitterness, but not a bad bitterness. Yeah. Not like a bitter coffee, just a slight bitterness. Like a bitter tobacco. Oh, I didn't. Mine's like, it's almost like I can almost taste peanuts in it. Yeah, mine's more good. But, you know, I might have charred mine too. I used a heavy triple flame. And that might be in my cases as well. So it's not a bad start. It's not a Not a lot going on, but it is the first few puffs. Guys, ready to get into the first third? Let's do it. Let's do it. Get into the first third, see how it goes. Well, we're about 10 minutes into this uh, Domenico by Carlos Tarano. Pretty good so far, but it's really mild for me. Uh, the finish is there, but it kind of goes from, you know, Monty mentioned that, that peanut butter sort of taste, or, that, or just that solid peanut taste. And you can definitely taste that, but it kind of goes clean for me pretty quickly. And then it just kind of goes to smoke, you know. They're, they're, it, it's just so mild that uh, the real flavors of the cigar are only there kind of for the first puff, and then they just kind of slowly die out of the finish. Uh, it's really nice. My construction's been all right, not a solid burn. I might have to make a couple touch-ups down the line. Um, but yeah, nothing really to complain about. I, I just hope it kind of picks up in, in terms of uh, depth. Yeah, it's super, super mild for me. Um, I agree there's a bit of nuttiness on there, very faint nuttiness, as well as a nice faint woodiness to me. But the main flavor for me is just a mild tobacco. It's uh, lots of smoke. The ash did not hold on very well. It just uh, fell off in my lap at about half an inch, but overall not a bad cigar, but uh, not a spectacular cigar, but I, I believe these are more of a build as a budget stick, so you, you know, you're not expecting a spectacular cigar, but for what it is, it's definitely delivery. I would agree. It's uh, super smooth, super mild, uh, relatively short finish for me. Uh, uh, my ash is holding on just a little bit better than uh, Justin's has. The, uh, the burn is, is pretty straight. It's just a little off, but not even worth touching up with a lighter. But uh, very, very mild and uh, pretty good so far. Let's get in the second third. Yeah, no. Well, we're about halfway through. Um, nothing ever really picked up for me. Maybe a little bit of spice uh, has kind of started to build up, but really no flavor changes. Um, you know, like I said earlier with Carlos Strano cigars, I never had one that I hated. I, 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 you know, would keep this this cigar around, but it, it would probably be more of an everyday type of smoke. Uh, you know, sometimes I, I, if I'm doing some work on my laptop or I'm reading or something, lighting up a cigar with some coffee at the, uh, you know, at the back porch, nice thing to do. This would be the kind of cigar I'd say for that occasion. Um, it's, it's a Torano, and and I, I just feel like I'm doing a disservice to Torano's by taking them out on the on the golf course. And this one's not an exception to that. So um, I'd keep this as like one of those cigars where you're not completely focused on it, but you're not completely unfocused on it either. It's not a golf stick. It's not a task cigar. It's somewhere right there in between. Yeah, there's nothing to really update for me either. It's very mild. Uh, I agree with what there might be some spice. Very faint. It might be just the power of suggestion on me. But uh, maybe. Uh, but other than that, it's very kind of far for the course. Um, as a cigar that I, this this cigar really isn't my taste. It's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. It's good. I'm enjoying it, but I don't know if I would smoke it again given the option. Um, I, I think these run around two dollars. Just think that about. Yeah, two or three tops. Two or three, and I think for that price online, I think you can get some much better cigars if you kind of roll around and really look around for the deals. I'm not saying it's bad by any stretch of the imagination. Just you know. If you would drop this down to a dollar, dollar fifty stick, I'd say you buy this all day long. But when you, when you reach that number, there's a lot more options given to you, and I think this would fall on the lo on the low, long list, I should say, not the short list. But overall, very good cigar. I, I don't want to say it's not. It's just not my taste. Are we doing halfway? Halfway. Okay. You guys are talking about it. I know. I just picked up off a wire. Sorry. I thought I'd better go with it. Uh, Pay attention. Yeah. I was. You were the ones that are off track. <laughs> yeah, we, we... Oh, yeah, yeah, because, you know, at, at the beginning... Of anyway... Well, we're um, about halfway through. It, it's, been, it's been real smooth and mild for me. The burn's been real nice. Nice, firm, white ash. Um, I thought it was going to be real flaky, but it hasn't been. Um, there might be a little spice there. I think, for me, there's actually a little bit of a cinnamon to it. 
like, and not the hot, or not the sweet cinnamon, but kind of the hot cinnamon, the red cinnamon, just a little bit, could be me. Um, but again, it's not a powerhouse and it's certainly not complex. Um, the finish is a little bit longer, but it's still pretty much a short finish cigar so far. But uh, so far, so good. You know, no surprises. I think superlative, as I like to say. Let's get in the final third and uh, see if we can change. <laughs> well, we're at the nub point of this, uh, what, what's it called again? Carlos Torrenio Dominican. There we go. Carlos Torrenio Dominican, made out of Ecuador. Well, whatever. Um, overall, really no flavor changes. I, I guess there was maybe a little bit of spice that came in there at the, at the, the nub point, but um, not much else. Like I said earlier, th this would be a good cigar for just kind of hanging out, reading the book, you know, having a drink, like, like, like we're doing. Um, something that doesn't you know, take your full attention, but uh, does, you know, doesn't offend you either. Um, overall, uh, construction problems, never really had a, had a construction issue. I only made one touch up, and this was really at the end. Uh, I, I forgot to mention in the last update, but when I took off my band, it took out a big chunk of the wrapper with it, so be, be careful when you take off the band. Uh, and that caused a couple of burn issues, but other, other than that, not a razor sharp burn, never maybe touch ups, uh, except for that one. Um, and then that was sort of my own doing. But yeah, on a scale of one to ten, I'd give this cigar, I'd give it a seven. You know, it's a, it's a Toronio, and again, I've never had a Toronio I didn't, uh, uh, or that I hated. This one's, you know, pretty good. It, like I said, it's just a good, not task, not golf, but uh, I guess hanging out cigar. Keep a couple rolling around in the middle. Yeah, it's not a bad cigar. Oh, excuse me, but um, kind of one-dimensional, very far from the course, very, very mild, but smooth. Um, it's a good stick. I think that, yeah, it could be a golf cigar, tap cigar, hanging out cigar. Oh, I agree. To me, this is almost a really good cigar for the newbie. Uh, the new guy that wants to smoke a cigar, but, you know, it's a, a full-bodied or medium body be kind of that sick to the stomach feeling and he's just trying to get into it. We want something that's good. I think this would be right up that person's alley. I think that it's, you know, really good for that. Um, would I smoke again? Probably not. Not because I don't like, uh, or I think it's a bad cigar. It's just not one of my flavor profiles I mentioned before. If I was going to rate it, I'd give it a six. It's good. Uh, just not my flavor. But nonetheless, still a good stick. I kind of agree with what Justin was saying there. You know, if you want to, if you have people that come over that occasionally want to smoke a cigar but aren't cigar smokers, I think this would be pretty handy for that. Um, now, and it'd be fine for a golf cigar, a tap cigar, etc. Like you guys were saying. Um, as far as like if I'm going to smoke it, you know, I could buy a five pack and I bet they'd last me a year, and that includes handing one or two out to, to newbie smokers. But uh, you know, mine burned real well. It stayed. It was really a real firm pack, and it stayed real firm all the way down to the nub. Um, I never had to touch it up. The ash has been real firm, you know, tight, bright, and white, so to speak, the whole time. But uh, it, it doesn't do a lot for me. It's it's real smooth. It's not hard. It's uh, real mild. So I'm gonna go six and a half, just because it's it's more of a beginner cigar, for lack of a better term. And, uh, and I'd like something more, especially at this time of day. So six and a half. Well, in conclusion, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. Until next time, smoke your gun.